Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Pickle Designs. Today I'm super excited to bring to you this haul from Jill Wiseman. Um, I've ordered from her before, but this is, I haven't ordered from her in probably two years. So I'm excited to look at all these products in here. Um, I just wanted to show you the packaging and how well it was packaged. This is stuff filled with um, bubble wrap in here just so that the beads aren't moving around. Um, so if you're interested to see what I got from Joe Wiseman, just keep watching. Okay, so I bought three of these mixes. When I saw them online, I had to get them. These are half pound bags of mixed beads here. And let's start off with the Jet Black Beads Mix. Let's just take a look at what we got. Everybody can use black beads, I mean. Oh man, it's a bunch of beads here. Like this is two handfuls. We still got probably two more handfuls. Look at these. This one's like a smooth, smooth one. Three big smooth ones. Three big um, fire polish ones. Ooh, we got some matte black butterflies with like a gold wash some stars the cutest little ladybugs ever <laughs> they did throw in some uh, jet AB in here those are cool um, oh some drops too so I actually really like these drops these are these are probably like five by seven drops. I have a bunch of those in my stash. Look at this teeny tiny butterfly. Oh wow, it's so precious. Swirl bead here. I love that color, that's amazing. We got a couple daggers in here. Tulip beads. Wow, look at these. Got a nice wash to them. Some hearts. Okay, so I'm gonna organize this off camera and then we'll see what we got. Okay, so I'm back. That took about 15 minutes, not too bad. Um, but here is the scope of what we're looking at here. And we also have a tray of one-offs right here. So one triangle tray worth of one-offs um but yeah let's let's take a look at some of these um from my first impression what i like in a bead mix is at least a pair uh just so that i can make a pair of symmetrical earrings if i want to now not all earrings have to be symmetrical of course but i like to have the option if possible so I think they did an excellent job. I don't know if they planned it that way or if it was just a random mix, but um, this is a one-off, sorry, I'll put this over here. But I mean, like I even got two of these little flowers, two of these two, I mean, a whole bunch of six millimeter jet beads. I got a pair of the Jet AB. There's a lot of good beads here. I like a good handful of uh, daggers. This is in the Jet Picasso right there. So just those. Nice daggers that we're all used to. Um, a bunch of ladybugs up here. Let me see, let's turn this around. Okay. We have some stars. A nice big handful of what looks to be a six millimeter jet matte truck of some sort. We have couple different flowers and this is what cracked me up because we have some <laughs> alphabet beads but they're all E's so man if your name starts with E's like with an E then you're gonna be popping with this mix here that, that really cracked me up that was funny um some half like some crescent shaped beads here yeah I think they did an awesome job and whatever you don't use in a pair you can throw in a bead soup and make like a purse charm bag charm something like that which i think i'm gonna put on um for a tutorial so look for that but yeah let me go ahead and get this cleaned up and we'll look at another mix
but overall i love this mix that was great okay next up we have half a pound of the pastels wax mix so let's open it up oh wow they look so much better out of the bag <laughs> wow these are really beautiful and chunky okay i'm gonna go ahead and get this organized and then we'll take a look at see what, what we got okay so i've done sorting these and wow look at how pretty this is the pastels wax mix half a pound and as you can see you know we're getting um a smaller quantity of beads but the beads are much larger and um, everybody has at least one match one mate so let's go ahead and take a closer look at these beads here beautiful we got some nice green ones here this looks to be a 10 millimeter size probably we got some nice green leaves here let's bring one of these up that coating really brings out the detail in the bead itself really pretty got a whole handful of these it's like a dark pink color with that pastel pearly looking wax coating love that i'm really liking these um these drops these are large drops but you know i still really like them I'm gonna have to find a special piece to use these because I really don't even wanna get rid of them. So probably be hoarding those for a while. Um, I'm not a big pink person, but I'm loving these. These are just amazing. These are the chunkiest boys in the world. And I love them. Those are so cool. Look at that. All these beads go so well together. They all have that mix or that um, coating obviously. So they just go so well. And we got this light blue color, and we also got like a light sapphire color. So there's there's a slight difference, but so we got the two like the light sapphire on the top, and then we got like a light turquoise on the bottom. So those are really cool. I really love these dinner mints. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna call them. It's actually like making me want some of those dinner mints right now. Those are really cool. It's like a, a light yellowish green. Got some of these um, cubes here. This looks to be about an eight millimeter, probably an eight millimeter, six millimeter size. We got some of these yellow elongated beads here. Super pretty. They really all just catch the light. We got some of these, I don't know, banner beads is what I would call them. Um, the hole goes from just like the top here. So the bead, the point is down and you get a whole bunch of those in this mix here. If you can see those. So we get a whole bunch here. These are some more of those elongated beads but in a different color, that darker pink color. It's kind of hard to tell on camera but it's like a darker pink with that silvery coating on top. We got some little tiny ones here, four of them. And we have, I think the most of these little guys right here. These are like little leaf beads with the hole running top to bottom. So those are really, really cool. Yeah, I can't decide which mix I like more. I really like the last one, but I like this one a lot too, just because it seems very cohesive and um, I don't know, I, I'm kind of in a chunky mood, so I, I'm, I'm liking these chunky beads. Okay guys, so that was the pastels wax mix in half a pound. I'm gonna clear this off and we'll look at our last bag, which is the pearlized mix. Okay, last for our mixes, we have this pearlized mix right here, another half a pound bag. And you're honestly getting so many beads. Look at that. I have very, I mean, not very large, but large hands. And uh, yeah, I'm getting a good <laughs> couple handfuls out of these. So let's sort through these beads and I will be right back. Okay, so here's what we got on the mat for the pearlized mix. And um, yeah, this is another stunning mix. I think this one has the highest 
number of one-offs though but that's only because i was counting like exact colors like there are some shapes in here that are the same but just like different colors um but these two chunky beads i mean these are one-offs but they can also be focal beads so i'm not too mad at that um but like these like here it's the same thing but they're just one smaller than the other so i just didn't count it but um we got a little mix here that are also one-offs but other than that um we got a bunch of these i love like i think i hit the jackpot because i got a lot of these like green blue um mix looking they're like a long an elongated bicone is what it looks like to me oh, but these are beautiful look at that nice and soft but yet packs a punch with the color loving that um, we got a bunch of these like little pearl drops here can't wait to use those those are really really cool and that's like that traditional like your pearly color here and we also got some of the ones that are like a little bit more matte so you got like the more shiny ones here but then you got a few that are like a matte which i i totally i love that um same style as these pinch beads here we got like a blue mix obviously multiples of each color here and not only the blue but we also have it in like a pinkish red color here so i mix i mean there's a few different colors here but i mix them all together just for simplicity's sake since we know they at least have a match here i love these same bead but um purple and that the purples in here we also got these drops the purples in here are stunning don't really find that kind of purple out there very much we got two of these chunky guys right here love those would love to make a pair of earrings with those some uh green drops here and some faceted ones right there those are super cool and let's see what else can we look at here we got some of these like little oval beads here one side's like a different color um this one's got the same color all the way around but those are pretty cool and, I, and like i said i had the other colors in the one-offs so i mean these all like coordinate together i think they all look good together so you could definitely use them like i'm not mad at that if it were just like a completely different bead that didn't like really coordinate that would be kind of frustrating but then we have a whole bunch i mean this has got to be a couple grams worth of mini duos here pretty sure these are mini duos they're they're much they're really tiny um and it's like it's in sort of like a matte emerald it's not really too matte but it, it reminds me of like the duochrome finishes without the duochrome if that makes any sense at all which it probably doesn't that's like an insane way of saying something but it's, it's got that like sort of matte or satin type finish there. You can see that. Okay, but here's that mix all together here. Overall, I think this one was another winner. Beautiful mix. Okay, I'm gonna clear this off and we're gonna take a look at our last couple things here. So quick note, um, just about those, um, what I thought, I guess, were mini duos in the last mix. I went and got a mini duo and super duo um, just to compare here. The mini duo is the lavender one. And the super duo is this black diamond color here. And it, they seem to be like right in the middle. So I don't know if it's like a twin bead, but I guess it's more of a super duo size. So... Just letting you know for comparison, I didn't want to mislead you or misrepresent what she was um, selling. So make your judgment. It looks to be, I guess, maybe closer to a super duo. Maybe it's just a twin bead though, so I'm not sure. All right, let's move on. Okay, next up I got this uh, rice pearl sampler here. These are the four by six millimeters. These are Czech pearls since I struck out with my last unboxing of pearls i thought i would give some some of these a go and holy cow the difference like 
Are you seeing this? Look how beautiful. These are like little pieces of candy. I would much rather get a smaller strand like this and pay just a little more than to get whatever that was that I got from that last haul. I'm not gonna name names, but we all know what we're talking about here. So let's look at this, wow. I hope they have the colors on this, they do, okay. This is so beautiful, wow, 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 wow. So this is gonna be golden bronze super beautiful this one is coffee let's look at the holes wow the holes are amazing 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 wow 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 i love those so much blue gray this leans slightly purple to me but blue gray is also a good descriptor yes um lavender pink so we got a nice cool tone pink here. Beautiful. Um, yellow bronze. Let's take a look at these holes. These might be easier to see. Look how beautiful that is. Wow, those are perfect. It's so satisfying to look at. I'm, I'm amazed, love those. Aqua blue, another striking color, loving it. Let's see, forest green. I think we all know my feelings on green by now. Love it. It's a nice neutral shade. And eggplant, look at this stunner right here. Beautiful. The finish, no bubbling, no crap, cracking, no flaking. Beautiful, I'm very happy with those. I think she still has some of these on her site if you'd like to go get those. Those are super beautiful. Put those off to the side. And then, like I said, since I was so just upset over the last batch of pearls that I got, um, I wanted to get some good ones and test these out. Now, these aren't a Preciosa brand. However, they are Czech pearls. So you should check out some of her... Um, her Facebook lives. I think she posts them to YouTube as well, but yeah, the, um, she brings on some very knowledgeable people. I'm not that she's not knowledgeable already on beads. My goodness. That's not what I meant, but, um, she bring, I think his name is John. Sorry if I'm wrong with that, but very interesting guy. Um, especially he, I mean, has such knowledge on, um, check beads and stuff and it's really interesting to hear like um I like researching history of beads like beads to me are like can be found in so many different civilizations and stuff so it's just so so cool so let's get these out. I think I got four packs of each minus the six millimeters I just got two so let's take a look so this is satin taupe. I just got the two colors because I wanted to get all three sizes, but satin taupe here. And yep, they're amazing. I'm not big into the super shiny pearls, you know? Um, I definitely like a, a, a more of a matte with a pearlized finish on top. But wow, that's super satisfying. <laughs> those are beautiful let's take a look at the let's see burnt orange color in the six millimeters and those are heavenly oh look at those those are so cool look it matches this like <laughs> i put varnish in this um like prescription bottle but it kind of reminds me of that so pretty i love orange so much Wow, those just glow, don't they? And look at the, the holes. The holes are amazing. Yeah, I'm not, not disappointed by that at all. Let's take a look at the three millimeter size. Sometimes the three millimeter can get a little squirrely on you. I guess because, you know, it's so small, it can get a little weird looking. But here are the two colors, satin taupe and burnt orange. And yep, another perfect set here. Beautiful. Wow. This is the 
the strand length right here. Beautiful. And last but not least, four millimeters. Your old tried and true four millimeter strands here. 50 pieces each on these strands. Again, some perfect specimens here. I always like looking at the holes. That sounds really wrong, but you know. They're just, I just hate that like extra flakiness. It's like, because when you're trying to weave with them, other beads don't sit flush against them due to that like crustiness on the, the bead hole area. So these are beautiful. I'm very pleased. I might have to pick up, I don't know. I said I wasn't like into the pearly finish, but this is nuts. Like these are just glowing. It's very, very pretty. Okay, let's just uh, get this cleared up and we'll do a little recap. Okay, so here's my haul. Wow. Um, everything that I got, I'm very pleased with. Not only the quality, but the design of the bead mixes. I mean, I think they all went together very, very well. And these pearls, I mean... If you're looking for pearls, just go out and get some of these pearls. I might have to go to her website and pick up a few more colors because zang. Okay, look at those. Look at these. I just picked out, I mean, she has so many colors, but um, yes, ma'am. Um, Jill Wiseman knocked it out of the park. I'm loving it. I think my favorite, I don't know, maybe this mix right here, the wax mix. I think this was my favorite, but there, it was all very close. So I don't know, guys. Thank you, Jill, for pr providing a beautiful product for us to buy, finally. <laughs> it's so refreshing. These are so beautiful. But anyways, if you guys have bought from Jill and from her store, and um, let me know what you guys got and if you were pleased. And let me know down in the comments below. But um. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.